Good morning, Sterling State. <laughs> back to yet another episode of Wake Up and Stage. Uh, this episode we are also celebrating 4th of July weekend. Uh, so happy 4th of July as long as happy Sterling as well. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to all the other episodes and giving them some good views. Uh, today's guest is Herbie Birkenstein. He hey, is everybody. the visual artist from the Artist Village doing a lot of the glow work as well. He has uh, also joined up with Glenn Pryor um, and Rob Gamble in certain events. Um, so he has definitely been a part of the Sterling culture the last few years. Uh, can you tell us a little about how long you've been doing Sterling Stage? Um, I think I've started about, like I said, 2013 or so. Um, I really started getting into the art after seeing all the Artist Village and you know that really what pushed me as an artist as well. Um, so yeah, around 2013 was my first, first big one. Nice, nice. Uh, as far as artwork, when you came in to be, you know, the artist village, uh, who really kind of got you, you know, as far as uh, um, what you saw? Actually, Glenn was one of my big influences back then, and I remember sitting down. I was walking around, and he had some really cool glow stuff, and I saw, it, I sat it down, and. He's like, here, draw on this, and he gave me one of his pieces, and I collaborated with him, and I thought that was really cool, and that's to me what you know what the message was about Sterling, you know. Nice, nice. Well, the other thing that I kind of like about Sterling Stage is the connections, how art and music kind of pass back and forth. Uh, you know, you, I've known you as an artist. I've also seen you show up to local, you know, events around here with your art while people are playing music. And now you're also playing music with Kyle and I. Right, exactly. <laughs> in the middle it's uh, so. definitely been like a, a pretty cool journey, and I attest a lot of that to Sterling because, you know, um, before that I went to one music festival, and like after that, it's like they say the rest is history, you know. And, yeah. and I started doing live painting, and I started bringing my artwork to, you know, C bands, and, and I can feel the energy coming off, and that, and, you know, interprets through the artwork as well. So, yeah, yeah um, definitely some of my favorite artwork in, in the house, uh, um, in, in my studio, I happen to have a picture that he did for, for my wedding, uh, but I'm not going to show that off because he's got <laughs> some awesome artwork to show off. Uh, we're going to turn on the black light, uh, and we're going to turn off the lights, and we're going to feature a little bit of that artwork right now, and he's going to tell us something about it. Sweet. All right. So... Um, when I first started going to Sterling, I was sitting there drawing, and I, I was coming up with different creatures to make. Um, so this is where it stemmed from, is the owlpus. So it's half owl and half octopus. So that kind of comes up in a lot of my different artwork. Um, so this one was one of my newer pieces that I just did. Um, again, here's a, oops, got those. Thanks, man. here's a skateboard design that I did, again, with the black light and the UV and all that. So... Um, I paint on pretty much whatever I can at this point. I, if I don't have canvas, I'll find wood or you know anything really. Um, here's another one. This is kind of a narwhal. He's this kind of a space creature, narwhal. Um, so I, was, I saw a poster for uh, the Little Shop of Horrors, the one with the plant that eats everything. Nice. So this is what actually stemmed from that, Ooh, and that was kind of. Nice. One that, again, I turned into the black light. Let's, let's show that just a little bit more there. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> Extreme close Freak up. out. <laughs> Not freaking out, man. <laughs> um, again, here's a little wow creature. And that's another wow. thing that comes up in a lot of my artwork is um, a lot of the marine animals. 
Um, obviously, like I said, the octopus and the owls and stuff like that. But I do fish, I do whales, um, all that. Last one here, some abstract kind of work. Um, so yeah, you know, that's really what I do is, you know, whatever I can paint on, I paint on. So got some old tables, got some, you know, whatever I can find, I do. Uh, instruments, you know, anything. So excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for sharing your artwork with us. Yeah, man, no problem. Show. Thanks for having it. me, man. This was awesome. Thanks again. Thank you. So all right, stay tuned. We've got some more music coming up for you. This song is dedicated to Sterling's stage itself. Actually, I wrote it on out there, and with the help of uh, the good firing folk at Sterling's stage, they helped name this song called Pine Soul.
Russell, how huh? sure. I need music for the life of the party, music for all that's gone. I need music for my days to come, and music to keep me strong. I need music to give me faith and hope, to remind me that I matter. I need music to set me free, and all these chains to shatter.
We love you guys. Have a great night. Who's been to a Sterling before 2015, y'all? Make some noise. What's up? Who was at a Sterling before 2010, y'all? Who was at a Sterling before the year 2000? Make some noise. Who goes back even farther than that? Come on, let's give it up for the OGs in the house. 